Good evening everybody and uh, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert existing data in S3 into Apache hoodie format. That's right. So uh, we're going to learn there's some data on S3 and we want to convert that into our lake house or, you know, Apache hoodie, right? So because we could do time travel, insert, update, delete. Uh, it supports, um, you know, we can use uh, DynamoDB as a log table, etc., etc., and much more. Hoodie has a lot of features uh, for anybody who is looking to build data lakes. So let's see how to do that. Uh, the reason I'm making all these videos is there are different versions, Spark version, different, you know, uh, Glue version, and there's a usually always, uh, you know, problems and error when working with all these different versions. Hence, these videos will help the community who really want to get started with Hoodie and who want to build data like. So let's get started straight into a lab session. All right. Hopefully you guys can see my screen, right? So uh, this lab is going to be basically we have some data on S3. Again, this data could be anything, right? So I have some fake data. Some uh, Here you can see Glue Learn Beginners. Here is the data, right? Some JSON files that we have. You can have CSV file, XML file, doesn't really matter. So let me delete this. Uh, let me delete my existing hoodie table. And I'll show you how easy it is to work with that, right? So the first thing that we wanna do is head over to uh, Glue Console, right? And then basically we wanna, uh, uh, we wanna go to the connection section. And after you go to the connection, click on go to marketplace. After you go to go to marketplace, search for Hori, click enter, click on the first button over here, click on continue to subscribe. Uh, once you're done with that, then click on continue configuration, select Glue 3.0, Apache uh, version, Apache Hoodie version 0.10.1, click on launch, then click on usage information, then there's a blue button over here where that says activate Glue connector. Click on that and then uh, type your Hoodie connection and put the same thing in the description and then click on the button that says create connection and activate connector. I've already done that. Um, so I'll show you uh, the one that I have. So here you can see I already have that. So now let's write an ETL job. Let's convert the data into Apache Huri, right? So we're going to go to the job section. Very easy. I'll use the visual workflow and then we'll do some tweaks. Okay. Uh, let me see if I have my code. Yeah, I do have. That's fine. So Remove everything from here. We're gonna select source as S3. Uh, that's gonna be my S3. Come to the data lake, right? Uh, we're gonna go inside the data folder. That's where my data is. I'm gonna click on the button that says copy S3 URI. Head over to my glue job, paste the S3 URI here. And there you go. There we have a checkbox here. Then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, do an apply mapping, right? Uh, actually, I want to change the column name of ID. So I'm, I will say rename uh, because I think IDs, uh, de uh, you know, they have a default. Um, it's a reserved field, I think, in Apache Hoodie. So what I'm going to do, um, I'll select this one over here. And in this one, I'll select ID. Okay. And I'll rename this as a PK, whatever you want to call. Okay. Then I'm going to basically apply a transformation, right? So I can click on uh, the, this one and I'm going to connect the blocks. Here you can see everything is now um, nice, neatly transformed. Here is my out output schema. Now go to target and search for hoodie. Click here, then click on the hoodie connector. And then you want to go to the script section and copy all these code. Now we got to change a little bit code here. So I'll walk you over the changes shortly. Uh, let me open a new file. So again, this is all the code that glue has generated for us. Okay. I have copy pasted everything here. Now, the first thing that you need to do is, uh, you need to, uh, add import for spark. So from PySpark SQL session, import spark session, right? Um, again, that is something that is not there, right? So I'll add it over here on line number seven, right? Now here from line 10 to 15, we are gonna use this code over here and I'll tell you what we are doing. Okay, so here basically we are creating our Spark session and here you can see I'm passing certain arguments here, right? These are essential for, you know, hoodie, right? So I have essentially entered that, right? 
uh, then over here is my hoodie table and here is a database name so i'm gonna name this as hoodie db i don't have these right now this is gonna be created okay so i'm gonna remove these okay so this is what it looks like again very straightforward right now come on the all the way on the bottom section and here where it says connection option we're gonna add certain items over here so these are all the settings that we're gonna add okay so i'm gonna click here add these settings so here you can see the path um, that's the path where i want to make my hoodie data lake uh, this is the connector name right hoodie connection right we essentially had that right now in my record my unique identifier uh, is pk i have a column called pk right and that's a unique right so i'm gonna use that as a record key right uh, in the precom field uh, you can use any field that you want i'm using first name again this is how my data looks like. I have first name, last name, address, text, PK, city, and state. PK is the unique identifier, okay? And then basically everything else is standard default. And uh, let's try to run the job and see how everything works. Again, the only changes I have done is I have added these line here. That is the Spark session, right? I have essentially added this one. So I created a Spark session line 12. And then the only thing that I changed is in the connection option. These are all the hoody options that i'm setting right i'm doing an absurd here so let's go here and then let's click on the edit script now click on confirm i'll leave the script in the description section below for you guys to check this out and then on the job section you want to say uh, s3 to apache hoodie right and then here i'm gonna give an im role and here i'm gonna use glue version 3 okay this is important I'm going to use three workers. I'm going to make sure the retry is zero, right? Now scroll on the bottom section and here you should see something called current connection. Now select hoodie connection here, okay? This is important. Click on the save button. My glue job has been saved, right? Now we're going to run the job. My job has been started. Now my glue job is running. So now what this is going to do is it's going to go inside this folder, read the data. Uh, it's going to do some transformation and then it's going to convert this data into an Apache hoodie data lake, right? So that way now moving forward, if I want to insert, update, delete anything, I can easily do that, right? So that's that, right? Um, again, under glue, I, um, again, uh, I have a database here. Uh, let me actually remove this quickly. Hopefully <laughs> doesn't, the job doesn't throw an error. <laughs> so my job is still running at this point and i do not have a i do not have a database called um, hoodie db uh, again whatever name you give that database will be created in the glue uh, aws glue section if you come to database you will see that database uh, being created uh, now at this point i'm simply going to wait for my job to complete and once the job is complete uh, you know i can show you the data and now you have successfully converted your data from S3, your existing data into an Apache Huri data lake. It's literally that easy. Again, the most important part in these stuff is the version, the settings. That's where most of the people uh, struggle a lot, which is where I struggled a lot personally, spent a lot of, lot of hours behind the scene. You might see the video uh, pretty smooth, but behind the scenes, I had to spend a lot of hours getting the right settings. So <laughs> that that's what I try, wanna try to show you. Uh, so again, this might take a while. I'll try to resume once it is uh, complete. So let me try to go to the S3. Um, again, here I should see a folder. Here you can see I have a folder called hoodie and here is my parquet file and here is all the metadata, right? And uh, by the way, uh, just I made a video on how to use DynamoDB as a locked locking table for apache hoodie so if you are looking for that i do have a video for that as well again in in apache hoodie and in spark settings is the key right if you have all these settings configured correctly it's gonna go smooth if not you're gonna have a hard time as i said um uh, coming to my glue job should be done uh, again yeah that's great so the job has been successful that's great now i can head over to my athena right I'm gonna refresh and inside HodyDB, I see a Hody table. And here now my existing data on S3 is now converted into a lake house, Apache Hori. As you can see, that's all my data, PK, Siri, state, right? 
um, some text address and a last name and a first name so now i can update i can delete uh, i can append into the data lake this is now a transactional data lake thank you so much for watching the video i'll leave the glue code as well in the description so if you want to watch or if you want to use that code as reference you may use so uh, thank you so much and if you have any additional questions let me know and i'll try my best to help you out with that being said keep smiling keep programming and i'll see you guys in the upcoming next video